Hello and welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. It's time for another episode of Terraria. It's a dark and stormy night. I have a few very important things to craft. So I want to show you in my inventory, we have the extendo grip, portable cement mixer, paint sprayer, and bricklayer, which can all be combined into the architect gizmo pack. Boom. Uh, that does all of the things that those individual things did. Now we can combine the Architect Gizmo Pack with the Ancient Chisel, the Treasure Magnet, and the Arcane Step Stool to combine all of those things. And we're going to do that into... Um, <clears throat> the Hand of Creation. Boom. Now that is an awesome equipable. We're going to put that down there. Uh, something else we can do is combine the uh, metal detector, the DPS meter, which is damage per second, and the stopwatch all into the goblin tech, which we will do and place up here. I don't know if we can combine that with the GPS, but I do know we can combine the radar, the analyzer, and the counter into the REK3000, which is another great thing to have. I've been doing some uh, research on some of this stuff. Uh, we can also combine uh, the mining helmet and the night vision helmet into the ultra bright helmet, which we're going to do, and then we're going to put that into the vanity slot. So it looks like we're wearing it. Uh, right there. Uh, but we're not actually getting the benefit from it. But we will if we swap it out. Right now we're getting the benefit from our strong armor. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, we can combine the climbing claws and the shoe spikes into the tiger climbing gear, which we can then combine with the frog leg, which helps us increase his jump speed and allows auto jump uh, into the frog webbing. So I don't know if we'll have room to equip that, but we'll go ahead and stick it over there for now. Uh, we can also combine a honeycomb with a shark tooth necklace. And I don't want to combine it with this one. So let's set this one uh, aside for right now because you can actually use both and then double up okay let's remember that's there I don't know how it chooses which one to use when it does these combinations but we're gonna do it like that okay now we can combine our blizzard in a balloon or a blizzard in a jar with a balloon to get a blizzard in a balloon and then we can combine that with the white horseshoe the lucky horseshoe which negates fall damage and that is going to be a thing we're going to equip because we do want fall damage negated. Later on, I think we'll be able to combine some of these other things um, to be helpful. Uh, but for now, we'll leave it at that. Okay, uh, we also want to make an ivy whip. Uh, what this is going to do is replace our slime uh, hook. We'll put that away. In fact, let's go ahead and put that and a couple of our other accessories away. Ooh, is that undoing my boots though? No, you can use the boots after. Okay, good to know. I'll just have to get used to pressing the buttons like that. Okay, so these things may be useful later. We'll go ahead and do that like that. Okay, now we've got a couple more things to do. Uh, we've got some Hellstone bars in our inventory and not at the Hellforge, but at the, this, we wanna make an Imp Staff. Okay, 17 summon damage, very weak knockback, uses 10 mana, summons an Imp to fight for you. Okay, and we got the quick Imp Staff. So I think this'll do yeah, as now we have an imp. And he just follows us around and does damage <coughs> to our enemies. Um, we can also 
What do we use this? Yeah. Now that thing sheds light. And I think we can also use this to be riding a bunny. <laughs> oh, you know what though? We can't use our boots when we're riding the bunny. And But B does get rid of them. Okay, so maybe we want to use that for a battle. Maybe we don't. But now I got stuff following me around. I got new and improved uh, items. Uh, both equipped and in my inventory. It's very exciting. Okay, so we can put this and this. I mean, do I want to keep these things on me? I did just buy myself some room over here. And we could put this bait away. Now we have an empty slot. But now you can see, oh, my... Um, I'm probably in the way, actually. My head. Uh, I'll zoom in and show. Okay. So we can see here that it is 4.06 a.m. There's a chest detected nearby. No rare creatures. No enemies. 1,379 zombies killed. NA damage per second. Zero mile per hour travel speed. 24 west, 240 surface. So all that is available because of all the gizmos and stuff that I have. What was I going to do? I was going to put the bait away where the fish goes. I've been doing some fishing quests as well. Looks like Hannibal and Lisa are throwing a party. Uh, I got the sextant, which displays the phase of the moon. I suppose we could put that up here. Um, and I uh, got that from <coughs> the angler, which is quite exciting. Let's see, what else? Oh, I'm, I'm on my way to making a honey, <coughs> honey lake down here to fish in. <clears throat> in fact, maybe we could try that. I need some bait. Um, just to see. If we get anything good. Well, it's even the good fishing hour, too. Apparently, there are only a couple of things to catch here. And I think the best time to fish is, what, 5.30 to 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. to 7.30, something like that. Maybe this isn't deep enough. Honeyfin. Okay. Consumable restores 120 life. That's better than that, which restores 100 life. So we could go fishing there and stock up on those. Uh, but for now, let's put it in here. Is that my first one? It is. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the fishing pole away too. That buys us even more room. So I guess we'll put the bucket down here. Okay, so uh, that actually was a lot of off-camera work doing all the research and stuff. Um, also some off-camera work was I have the desert pylon here now. Uh, so I can warp to the desert. I also have... Uh, I'll show you this. So the I moved the forest one down here. It was up top. But I've got this one so I can warp there instantly from here. I've got this one so I can go to the jungle. And I've got this one so I can go to the ocean. But we also have this one down here so we can go to uh, the mushroom biome and be closer to down here as well then as the snow biome, which puts us close to the dungeon. And also down here, which I wanted to investigate. Remember. And I think we even have a helmet that will help us breathe. Uh, greatly extends underwater breathing. So we'll take that with us since we're gonna do some exploring. Also, you may have noticed there's now a bridge here all the way over to the other side of the map. 
and it drops off here and here's where we're gonna drop the guide voodoo doll when we're ready right there uh, but the bridge also goes from the center all the way over to this side of the map right to the very end so that's quite exciting uh, so we'll be ready um, that's our boss arena for the for the underworld boss um, we have a lot of exploring to do though, and I'd like to do some of that. So let's go, uh, over here. We'll start with this water and then we'll see if our exploration brings us around these areas at all. Uh, oops. Actually have to be close to here in order to do that. Boom. There we go. Uh, I feel like I'm moving better. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, and we'll see how things are going down in this ocean. I'll throw on that uh, that breathing helmet before we go, and then it shouldn't be a problem at all. I don't know if it's going to be a thing or not. There's some stuff that I know about the game and some research that I'm willing to do. Abraham the Traveling Merchant has arrived. Okay, does he have anything good, though? That's an important question. Okay, he's he's by the desert. Uh, we'll have some time. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't have to do that that way. I can just ZL. And it swaps the helmets. Okay, so down we go. I suppose I could have waited. Ah, you see how that orb is creating some light? It's trailing me, but it's creating some light. So that gives you guys something to look at even when it's dark. Of course, I could just do this. But now those bubbles are decreasing so slowly that I'm not even a little bit worried about running out of breath here. Which is good news. Uh, oh, look. A heart crystal. Or a life crystal. And another one. Okay, let's grab a breath here real quick. May as well. Got it. Okay, now let's see what's going on past you. Another life crystal. That's three in rapid succession, which is quite cool. Okay, here's a little spot. Holding up is making that step stool appear, which is kind of neat. Okay, uh, what do we have here? Not too much. I was hoping maybe there'd be a heart crystal down here. I kind of want to see an enemy and see how this imp does attacking. I'm going to have to get used to... There. Imp. Get that slime. Do you not see him? There. He's over here. Get him. Oh, you got him. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Um, I do see that there's a little bit more to explore here. Part of my goal is to do uh, not totally fill out the map um, before fighting the underworld boss, but get closer than we are. Uh, so, you know, that's just one of the things that I'm doing. Hey, a chest! Menacing walker, uh, water walking boots, sandcastle bucket, angel statue. I've heard angel statues didn't do anything for a very long time, and now maybe they do. Uh, but I don't know what they do. Does someone feel free to share that with me? Okay, watching on the, uh, Mini map here. It seems clear that we are filling out more stuff, which is cool. Uh, let's go up here. You know what I could do is use B. To shoot my uh, hook. What kind of hook is that that I just got? 
that's better than the slime one. Um, oh yeah, Ivy. It shoots a little longer, uh, so it's got more range, and it shoots a little faster. Um, so, kind of double duty with the old improvements there. Ooh, I see a pot down there, and I see some gold. I think, uh, I think exploring's gonna be fun. And I'm glad I took the time to combine some accessories and sort of get things uh, improved because our mobility is better and we're mining faster and things are just going to be overall, I think, improved. Although we're going to end up with a lot of junk in our inventory. Oh, interesting. There's like... Oh yeah, we were just here, but on the other side of that. It's a lot of sand at the bottom of the ocean, which makes sense, I suppose. Uh, we could go this way and down. Break these pots, get some potions. I could see how it'd be fun to enter a brand new world with all this stuff in our inventory. And I think that Terraria lets you do that. You can um, start a new world. Like, you choose your world and your character in, like, the starting screen. Uh, so, you know, you could use a old character in a new world or a brand new character in an established world. What kind of statue is this? A buggy statue. Okay, and now here we're back... We're near the dungeon. Oh, one thing I want to do in the dungeon, make sure that I do, is really do a good job of marking all of those biome uh, specific chests that I can't open yet. So that I will not lose track. And imp's attacking something. Of where those are once we're done with the underworld boss and it's time to move on. Oh, you see that rock? That was a trap that fell. Tried to get me, but I was too fast for it. Um, however, I probably should swap this out for that. So I have plenty of defense again. What do we got here? A bone skeleton statue. Okay, I've been in here. It seems, although I don't know that I've been over to this part. Some of this seems new. Uh, definitely been here before, and look, I've marked this a lot. Did I come down here and not go in because I was waiting for you guys? That might have been a while ago. Or maybe I just put some extra stuff down here because I couldn't fit it in the inventory. Another slime hook. The warding shackle is the only thing we can't pick up. Well, that and the chest itself. It's already time. And a couple of statues. Is this a cat? Discover. That might be a cat. Uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop some things off. Um, I have extra chests. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna plop down this one chest. And we're just gonna dump everything into it, and I will do all of my sorting off camera. But when I say everything, I don't mean everything, everything. Oop, gotta open it first. I just mean everything that's outside of a certain area in the inventory. Uh, and those, and those. Okay, so now we're ready to do some more exploring. And it's easy to get back. Although I think what a smart thing to do would be to go down here to where our... Okay, that's wooden furniture. Where are our chests? Seeds, plants, underworld. Weapons, armor. I'm pretty sure I made a chest's chest. Which is why that's wooden consumables now. 
I just don't remember where it was. Here it is. And look at all of these. Plenty of room now. <clears throat> plenty, plenty, plenty of extra storage space. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And then in here, we'll put the rest of these for now. <clears throat> all right. Oh, is that a merchant still around? He just departed. I was going to go see if he had anything good. They often don't. But some of the things, you have to wait around for them in order to have access to it in the game. Okay, do we want to do more exploring in this area? I mean, there was that... Yeah, we want to see what's going on with this pink area down here, I think. So let's do this again. And maybe there's a quicker way to get down there than through the ocean. Since I left my breathing helmet behind. I think we could probably make it down there anyway. But seeing as how we ended up close to the dungeon, I'm guessing that we could just drop down here. Oh no, not a... Not a goblin scout. However will I handle him? <laughs> Easy. Okay. Now we're getting closer to where things were. Um. Ooh. Not totally sure how to get into that little cave, but I want to. I think that's how. Okay. Yeah, I knew some stuff was going to fall on me. That's okay. Is this all this is? No, there's more. That, it's so chaotic looking. There's so much going on with the imp and the... Is that a button? Hardened sand block. Yeah, that was a trap. See that uh, boulder up there. Um, well, there's definitely places to go there, but let's do this first. Because it kind of looks dead endy, and I was right. So, in the exploration, I definitely wanted to happen on camera. Then I'm thinking there's something going on down here. Oh, but we've already been here. I can see it on the mini map. Even if it's not lit up. Okay, um, where was that golden chest? What's this? Well, there's a different one. Where was the one in the house, though? Oh, way down here, I bet. There was like a house. Oh, right here. Okay, let's go right first. This definitely seems interesting. Um, it's above us, but I see a gap below us. So I wanna check that out. And it just doesn't take very long to mine. I'll turn up the volume just a little bit for me in the room. Once again, that does not affect you. Uh-oh, we're letting some water down here. It's okay, though. Because that's where the chest is. And I see some traps. This might be a situation where the chest itself is a dead man's chest. Let's zoom in a little. That stuff's going to collapse. I wonder if we can block it. Yep.
Oh yeah, look at these explosives. This is gonna kill us if we open it. Okay, is there more? More explosive. Yes. Okay, we're gonna have to reach that. Okay, we might be good. Yeah. Okay, a mace, a throwing knife, potion, 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 potion. And uh, coins and glow sticks. Yeah, that would uh that would have been real bad for us if we'd have made the mistake that we almost made. Okay. Let's get back down here. And then back up. And what we want to do is we want to go down to here. And we'll collect that chest and that one remaining thing inside of it. Oh. Armored metal detector. We just killed a lost girl or a nymph or something. Yeah, this is a dead man's chest. Activates when opened. It's kind of like sending a redstone signal. Metal detector, bat, bat. Such good music in this game. Okay. Our inventory is going to be full again pretty soon, I think. We're taking the shackle. Oh, we're doing okay. We're taking the chest. Taking the pot statue. Taking the star statue. And discover. By J.T. Kirkscrude. Okay. Uh, here's more dungeon. There's a spider in the dungeon. Um, I'm not going to go through the trouble of marking the... Uh, chests now. Instead, we're gonna go... Yeah, we're gonna go explore in this pink area. Who hurt me? Oh, a slime. Okay. There is a heart crystal. Life crystal. And another one. And what is this? Potion statue. A worm statue. Good. Still getting used to the cloud in a bottle attached to the Terra Spark boots. Needing two button presses. There's another life crystal. Uh, oh. Is that a boots statue? Yeah, boot statue. Do, mm. do, 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 do. Well, if I press on this, that boulder is going to fall. Ha ha! Missed us. Okay, let's keep going down here, see what we can find more pots and potions. We can definitely drain some of this water into this gap and catch a breath while we're at it. I see gold down here. This isn't going to explode, is it? No. We'll send the water this way. Kill that guy in the meantime. But this is some good glow down here we got going on jump, boots, um, inventory's full. Doesn't take long for the whole inventory to fill up, does it? Okay, a little bit of a crack there. 
I do want to see what this glow is without sending all this water down. So we just dig above the water and then to the right a little bit. And then, not, not enough. And then down. Not enough. We're not picking up that ore either because our inventory is simply too full. Okay, I know there's glowing below us, but now I have to try to the right because, aha, another life crystal. We're going to make heart lanterns out of those, which improve your regen abilities. Uh, and then put them in our, like, boss battle arenas. <clears throat> I don't know if we have to empty our inventories as often as I am. I'm just loath to get rid of something that could be helpful later. And look, now we've kind of connected these things up. So definitely uncovering more of the map, which is good. I still want to get down to that glowy area. Wait, was there something down here? Oh, arrows. Those are those arrows I couldn't pick up. And actually, wooden arrows are pretty nice. Do we get rid of one silver ore or five mud blocks? There we go. Um, I want to use the... I don't have a bow on me anymore. That's just for boss battles. But I'm thinking about changing to the heck wing bow. Not actually what it's called, but close. Cleaned it up a little bit. You could probably get the gist. Ooh, there's some demonite ore up there. It'd be interesting if I wasn't already way stocked up. And if I didn't have a way easier way to get more by fighting... Uh, Eater of Worlds. Additional times. Okay, glow. The glow's down here. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna go this way to find that. Um... Oh, yeah, the bow. Uh, the bow changes the wooden arrows into incendiary homing devices. Which sounds quite nice. What is this? What is this? Glow tulip? Well, I need this. Um, we can get rid of one silver. Probably the best thing to get rid of. Here's a house with no chest in it. Have we been down here? Am I collecting cobwebs? Oh man, we got pots and statues and stuff down here. Is this a chest? A mushroom chest? Okay, we gotta come down here. But first, we gotta go home. And drop off our stuff in our super easy to drop off in uh, place. <coughs> okay, we've run out of room there. Although it's possible we could double up on some stuff. Just go ahead and put the rest in here for now. And do we go back again? I mean, this is fun. How much of this stuff do we want to see? I want to see what's in that mushroom chest for sure. I thought this pink area was going to be really interesting. It definitely had some life crystals in it. We could go up here searching for more. But I have so many. Yeah, there's our line of torches. So that's where we're going. Uh, okay. So let's get near this. Zoom out. Go over here. How are we doing on time? Ooh, half an hour. Man, that's some quick acceleration up. Not as quick as the, or quicker than the boots. Which would be a nice like first boost thing during a boss battle, you know? Okay, I'm guessing this is the way to go. Boy, what's nice about this too is I can go to the map and that. 
imp will fight off little enemies for me while I'm fiddling around. Hmm, there's a lot of dark area here. Let's see how fast we are at mining when we put on our mining stuff. Okay, so. Cosmetically, we're gonna look like we're wearing the molten armor, but really we're wearing the mining stuff and that's gonna make us 40% faster at mining along with a quick pickaxe and uh, the ancient chisel, which is a part of uh, the wild hand of creation, I think. Should be pretty fast. And it is quite fast, which is awesome. Look at that. Definitely the way to go. I'm vulnerable to attack, unfortunately, because not getting the benefit of my molten armor. But still, I've got eight defense. It's not the worst in the world. What's my usual, tw uh, 30? Ooh, that's a lot of sand, and it's gonna let water down. So let's go like this. Oh yeah, this is gonna come in handy for digging our tunnels across the map. Which I do still wanna do. I don't know if it'll be on camera, but if it is, at least the progress will be a lot faster. Whoop, whoop, all right. Okay, hold on. We want to dig down. I don't know if I can. Let's get out of here. That was close. Kind of close. What happened here? One of the downsides of being able to dig so fast. Yeah, water is coming down here now. I just wanted to get over here and stay above this. So we gotta get to here and then dig down and then go over. Uh, is the nurse here? She's not. It's okay. Oh, I'm not close enough. What other areas do we want to explore in the map? Obviously, this is a huge area. We probably want to look around in the jungle more. We probably want to dig around in this pink area here for more heart uh, life crystals. Yeah, we got to do something about this and even this. And then, of course, this. And then right now we're over here. This is the most thoroughly explored area. This, uh, and this biome here, the corruption biome, that's, I think, basically completely discovered. But certainly the snow one. Uh, <clears throat> but let me know if you want that kind of exploration on camera, or if you're just excited for me to... You know what, should I have dropped stuff off? No. I did not collect much. I just got myself into trouble right away. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, um. It's right here. Man, is that quick. Okay, down, right, down. Okay, down. We want to go down here. Um, now we're facing some water, but not too much. Dropped a little bit of sand on us. We could probably get rid of this water by doing that a couple of times. Yeah. Man, look how quick that is. Okay. Ooh, 
boulder, some more water. And there's a bunch more sand. Okay, get out of here, Peter. Is there anything I can do? Once this happens. I don't think I can dig down. I'm dying. I didn't want to go back to the starting screen when the consequence is dying is just going back to this area and dropping half of your wealth, but I mean, come on. I have been looking into methods on how to farm wealth, P.S. And above reproach, you, you know, using non-cheaty methods. And I think I've found a pretty good thing. There are um, stone trees that drop gem corns. And uh, I want to do that. All you have to do is combine a gem with an acorn, and you have the gem corn, and then you can plant the tree. Uh, I want to go over you. Traveling around is actually a little challenging because I'm not used to this movement set. But it's all right. We'll get it figured out. Keeping an eye on the mini-map actually is pretty handy for context. You can even zoom in and kind of have an idea of where you're at if you know your map well. Uh, yeah, so other than, um... Uh, no, this is not the way we're going. Other than... The, uh, exploring, we have a few other things to do. Uh, before we fight the underworld boss. Okay, now water has probably just totally filled this because of the ocean. So I'm gonna have to block this off. And then what is this? Peter was buried alive. Golden grave marker. Yeah, okay. We'll keep going this way until we can breathe, which we can. Let's just not push our luck by trying to go up where the sand is much. We'll just keep it down here, I think we'll be okay. And then we know that the pink is coming up here. Ooh, perfect. Wanted to avoid some of the nonsense there. <clears throat> the water and then get down to the pink. Okay, so here we are up here. I don't think we've been here. Oh yeah, I gotta go see the about the mushroom chest. Okay, just sort of lighting up these areas in the map. Oh, there's a rock there. Um, nice being able to stand on top of the water and then dig. I must admit. There's a pot down to the left. I do you want to see what's up and to the right, though? Yeah, so other than the exploration that we need to do, just to basically uncover most of the map, um, there are things called planter boxes that you can plant your seeds in. I've got a seeds chest where I've been keeping some stuff. And, uh... That will help us harvest plants and get, um ingredients for potions which I think will be quite nice oh here we are at the edge of the map now okay are we like above the this is where we're going should we dig down from here I think we should I 
I mean, why not? It'll be fast. Getting a bunch of silt here. We can put that in the extractinator and see if we get some gems. That'd be great. Aha! A life crystal. And another one. Oh, and we got it. Okay, that was easy. Lesser healing potion. Not really great. Mm, I'll leave that be for now. Actually, I think I won't. I think we're going to go straight this way. This will work out great for us because we'll get closer to where we're trying to go and we'll also check out all these pots and look, a life crystal. I don't even need to switch to the sword. Uh, okay, straight down basically. Ooh, hi guys. Hey, where's my imp? How long does it last? I don't know. Does someone know? Why does that turn off? Is it like an eight minute duration thing or a 30 minute duration thing or what is it? Uh, okay, we've been getting close here. Okay, gathering up all these mushrooms and stuff. Drop down here, bust these things open. What do we got for statues here? Drippler statue and Reaper statue. Dripplers are those guys, the little flying gross red guys during blood moons. Let's get a breath here and we'll check out this chest. Band of Regeneration, Shroom Minecart, Dynamite, Potion, Potion, Glow Stick, Coin. Not bad, not bad. What kind of statue is that, and do I want it? Probably. Uh, let's go this way. Do see some enemies. Take those guys out. Break these pots. Gather lots of mushrooms. Get a new statue. Uh, you can go away. And another life crystal. Firefly statue. This is all exploration that's going to be far easier before we beat the underworld boss. Rather than after. This is a very big opening here. Oh, see, here's a gem corn tree. We have to check this area out. These glowing mushroom biomes are always awesome. Get tons of those mushrooms and there's always pots to break and... Okay. Bird statue. So, the way these work you chop it down and you get a topaz gem corn, which looks like a topaz acorn, and you can plant it in stone, and a tree will grow, just like that. You don't always get a gem corn drop, you can get between zero and five, I think. Uh, so it can be a little dicey in the beginning, kind of reminds me of farming... Um, dark oak trees in Minecraft. These boots do allow us to walk on lava. I know I discussed that in the previous episode. What kind of potion is this, and do we want it? Get rid of one topaz. Get rid of some dirt blocks. Get rid of some iron ore. Night owl potion. That's probably pretty good. Okay, uh, let's drop off some stuff here and let's make some heart lanterns, I think, because I want to see... <coughs> I 
how many we have. Or how many we can make. Probably a bunch. Well, we're gonna plant those gem corns, make ourselves a money farm. It's gonna be so good. Okay, we'll hang on to those. And we'll check down here for more. 25 more. Wow. So if I take all but one of these. I have 24, which is 37 heart lanterns. Goodness, I don't think we need that many. Uh, let's grab some iron bars. Take half of them. And then we'll see, is it an anvil? Where do you make the chains? 15 chains for one bar. Okay, we'll do that one time. And now we could probably make a heart lantern. Yeah. So one uh, life crystal. Yep. And four chains increases life generation when placed nearby. Okay, so now we have that right there. We could hang it here. But honestly, I'm thinking we hang it right above the campfire. And I don't know how to take damage. Falling doesn't hurt me. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, so we have a nearly empty inventory. I'll straighten out those chests and stuff. And then what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to dig some tunnels. And we'll just see what we find. You know what? Maybe we'll do the tunnels in this dark area here. What about that shadowy area over there, Dad? What did I just say? Uh, we'll dig, all, dig our tunnels through there together. That'll be a uh, together thing. Maybe next episode. Uh, but I'll feel free to do some other ones off camera. And with lots of tunnels dug and lots of the map uncovered, we'll be set up for success in the future. I still think we might be a few episodes away from fighting the underworld boss. I know I've got hours of game left before I am ready to do that, before I feel personally ready. Um, I don't know how many episodes of on-camera material that will turn into. We'll see. Uh, but it should be a good time. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time in the basement.